the learning objective of the topic is to represent a metallic solid and or alloy using a model to show essential characteristics of the structure and the interactions present in the substance so we will be seeing that how to represent a model for the alloys as well as metallic solids and how i will be connecting that representation with the characteristics and interactions in the substance Hello everyone this is topic 2.4 structure of metals and alloys this is taken from ap chemistry college board i have already told you in topic 2.1 that there are three types of chemical bonding first is ionic bonding second is covalent bonding and the third is metallic bonding metallic bonding is found in metals as well as their alloys when the atoms gives up their valence electrons they form ions and these ions are held together by the electron cloud surrounding them the cloud of free electrons is highly mobile and this results in good electrical conductivity now let's first see what is an alloy so alloys are the mixtures of metals or mixture of a metal and another element so if you want to show representation for the pure metal it would be like this because all the atoms are of same kind and when you want to give the representation for the alloys you will show that there is another atom also present along with the main metal and in here it is shown in blue color the alloy's properties are usually different from those of its component elements for example steel is an alloy of iron but the steel is stronger than iron examples of alloys include materials such as brass bronze amalgam and steel so these are some of the examples of alloys so here you can see the types of alloys the first case is the representation of the pure metal with where all the atoms are the same then there are two types of alloys one is substitutional alloy and another is interstitial alloy we will be seeing more about these two alloys in the next slides so substitutional alloy is made when two types of different atoms of almost the similar sizes are mixed for example when we are talking about the brass brass is made up of zinc and copper where the primary metal is copper so if these red dots are copper then this blue dots would be zinc and these atoms would actually occupy the space of copper in between the whole alloy the size of zinc and copper is similar so that is why substitutional alloy is formed the second kind of alloy is interstitial alloy interstitial alloy is made from two or more elements in which there is a lot of difference between the radius of the elements for example if we are talking about steel steel is made up of iron and carbon so there is lot of difference between the radius of iron and carbon atoms these red dots are the iron atoms this green dots which is carbon atom will occupy the empty spaces between these big atoms and leads to the formation of an alloy due to this combination the steel does not corrode The learning objective of the topic was represent a metallic solid or alloy using a model to show essential characteristics of the structure and the interactions present in the substance. So in this video I told you how to represent a metallic solid and how to represent the alloy and I showed that the alloy is of two types interstitial alloy and substitutional alloy and also how to represent both kinds of alloys in both the models i told you that how the representation can tell about the characteristic of the alloy and it also tells about the interactions present in the substance please like and subscribe to the channel log iota and press the bell icon 